member of my church congregation had been a victim of domestic violence. And she wasn't the type of person that you would expect to have been a victim. She was happy-go-lucky, and then when I found out what happened, kind of challenged me to ask the question, how did I miss it? It devastated her to think that it could happen that close to home, because you always think of it happening to somebody else. Or you tend not to think, oh, it's not going to happen to me, it's not going to happen to my family or my friends. Basically, charged myself immediately, sat down, wrote out a vision, a mission statement, and then reached out to people and just said, this is what I'm wanting to do. If you're interested in helping, let me know. Our mission is to educate, to equip, and empower women to live free of domestic violence. We've had a symposium, um, which was our inaugural event. Then we also did a few fundraisers. We did a Zumba-a-thon, health fair type of event. We've done a couple of specialized topic events. We try to broaden our programs and services to give people tools to walk away with. Sometimes these women are in shelters and they have to leave their home and flee with the clothes on their backs. And so one of the things I wanted to do, we started out with our toiletry drive where we collect toothpaste, deodorant, your basic necessities that most people don't think about that you'll need. And we put them in a little nice little packet. And then I decided to broaden that just a little bit and start collecting clothes instead of taking these items to Goodwill. Let's take our nicer things and put them to side to have a clothes closet for these ladies to branch out. So now they have their necessities and there's some clothes options as well. So we don't want to just get you out. We want to educate you and equip you so you're not there again and you know what's available and how do I make myself more successful to move beyond this event and letting them know they're not a victim, but they are a survivor. It's women across the board. It's, it's your church member. It's your neighbor. It could be your sister. There is no pattern. And you don't know who you're reaching or who, who may be affected or who's seek, suffering in silence. I mean, I'd seen at work how she's dedicated and conscientious, but to have that drive, that, that's a side of her I never knew. And I, I was so proud of her. I'm, I'm just committed to making sure women reach their full potential and to not be a victim but to, to, to take the, the bad that has happened and learn from that and become a stronger person and reach back and help someone else. Mm -hmm.